Fellas, it's been a long day, but we gotta talk about this exotic grenade launcher before we head off for the evening. It is called Wither Horde. It is present in the kinetic slot, a 90 round per minute grenade launcher, and it has been added as one of the most unique weapons in the game. Now, I bring this up because if there is one weapon type that's pretty unique, it's actually grenade launchers. We really don't have a shortage of unique grenade launchers. We've got Anarchy, Mountaintop, Marty, which was a completely new take on grenade launchers back in Season of the Dawn, and now Wither Horde. Now, Wither Horde can be obtained through the Season Pass. It's actually the first weapon you unlock if you own the Season Pass, and it comes with the exotic perk Prime Evil's Torment. Projectiles fired by this weapon blights the target or nearby area on impact. It also comes with the trait Break the Bank. Blighted targets take damage over time and also blight the nearby area on death. Now, there's two ways you can attack with this grenade launcher. Number one, you can just shoot next to a target, which does like a slight amount of impact damage depending on how close the projectile was when it made contact. But there's like a small delay and then you'll notice that same blight effect that so many of us absolutely hate begins to unfold the enemy, which I gotta say, like sweet vengeance, man. How many of us hate dealing with blights, right? Now this AOE effect lasts for about seven seconds, and during that seven second time frame, it actually does some really good damage. When it comes to clearing ads, it's fantastic. But even just single target damage, it still does good. Where you really start to pick up the damage though, is actually if you land direct shots on your target. You see, this actually blights the target itself, resulting in a little more impact damage, but greater tick damage over time. Actually going up as much as 100% there in damage per tick. Now, it's not exactly a 100% increase, that's so when we actually sat down and we slowed down the damage per tick and the time frame in which we got tick damage. There's two things to take note of from the AOE effect in comparison to that direct impact effect. The direct impact and its tick damage lasts for about 9.5 seconds, maybe slightly less, but approximately two and a half more seconds than the AOE tick damage does. It does do more damage per tick, but it does less ticks. You see, the AOE damage does about 24 to 25 ticks for a total damage of 39,700, whereas the direct hit damage from sticking the blight to your enemy does only 17 total ticks for a total damage of 53,975, which is actually only like a 36% increase there in damage over the total tick damage from just your base AOE. But that's not really the true benefit to sticking targets with that blight. Number one, when you actually attach that blight to them, even if they're trying to run away, it still hangs on to them. Matter of fact, this was a clip earlier inside of PvP. I stuck a cutter the missile, and even as he was trying to get to me, this blight damage carried on with them, thus resulting in him dying before he can make contact. We've shut down a few supers here and there. This beats them all, man. So that blight stays with the target, with also an extra 36% more damage. But upon actually killing that target, if you stick it with the blight, it also drops a brand new blight in its place. You see where I'm going with this, guys? You got majors coming out at you, meteor targets, you land these grenade launcher shots on them, stick them with these blights, let it do that extra damage, let it hang with them, and when they die, it drops another blight, resulting in any enemies that might be around them also dying. Now, there's actually a way to stack the damage a little more. Say you got those Ultra Meteor targets, you land the blight, you stick them, it's doing damage, but it's not quite doing enough. Now, you can't sit there and keep sticking direct shot damage over direct shot damage over direct shot damage, because like our solar grenades, they just don't stack, you know? I don't know what the hell the deal is. It's like Anarchy, right? Like Anarchy, what, two, three shots? at a time at most before the damage kind of overwrites itself and I never even shoot more than two shots with Anarchy at a time to get the most out of my total damage. For some reason in Destiny, and it's probably intentional, at least when it comes to these grenade launchers, is Bungie doesn't allow us to continually stack the damage together. Where Wither Horror separates itself though, is the fact that it allows you to stack damage between the AOE damage effect and the direct impact damage. That's right. You can actually lay down that AOE blight. It's doing its AOE damage. Those 24 or so ticks of damage over that seven second time frame. Proceed to also shoot a direct impact shot 
which sticks that blight damage, does that damage over time with that increased damage. And maybe it's due to the fact that the numbers are different numbers, or maybe it's just different mechanics in general, because it is applying different damage on top of activating that break the bank trait. There's a lot more happening here. So it's like the game registers this as being okay. It stacks those damage together, allowing for Wither Horde here to have pretty decent damage. I mean, it's not crazy. Don't go deleting everything in your vault to make way for the new king of DPS. This isn't it. It's just a nice sweet spot between really good damage and good ad control. My only complaint is that in its ad control department, I wish it did a little more when it came to keeping ads locked into that AOE effect. I felt like today, especially in something like PvP, most everything has no problem getting out of this blight which is like the direct opposite of what it's like for us to step in a blight right you walk into a blight everything goes black and white it's the twilight zone you don't know what the hell's happening now it's probably due to the fact that there is a small delay before damage really starts to kick off but just know guys inside of pvp i wouldn't recommend this weapon it's fun it's a meme weapon you drop some blights down you mess with some folks that are trying to get through like i don't know a small corridor maybe they're just trying to get to heavy and you just like to piss them off. As far as the ability to stick targets directly, that was a lot more challenging for me. There's some travel time. This isn't mountain top. So there's a lot of room for error there. And for the most part, I found myself, if I wanted to make sure I got a sticky shot on someone and direct impacted them with with a horde, I had to be pretty much within shotgun range, which normally meant I died. So I wouldn't go out of your way or anything to make this grenade launcher work in that aspect. Although I will say certain maps, yes, it can shine. And you can just straight up trap people if you got enough special ammo. You want to close people off and proceed to get rid of all their exits? Start dropping blights. Now granted, if they're a hunter, they'll just be able to hop past it and most likely shotgun you a fell winner. But hey man, that's the sandbox we're in. You like it? But the AoE damage inside of PvP is about 40 damage per tick, which does activate pretty quickly. And if a player isn't paying attention enough, and depending on how well you can actually place these things, you'll be able to lock some kills down. As far as the direct impact damage though, that does increase to about 80 damage per tick, which is very high. But like I said, you gotta be within shotgun range to really get the most out of it. Now I really wish the weapon had more impact damage, more direct hit damage, and it actually does, but only on the second shot. You'll notice here that we actually have 621 impact damage on the first shot. But if you follow up with a second shot and direct impact your target, while that damage over time is still occurring, it actually increases our damage here to 9,303 damage, which is like nearly a 1,400% increase there from its initial impact damage. Kind of crazy. Kind of wish it didn't fluctuate like that because I really don't understand why it does that. Maybe it's going to tie into the catalyst in some weird way. I haven't even looked at the exotic catalyst to see what the exotic catalyst does, but just sitting there direct impacting your targets over and over again doesn't really offer all that much benefit. Yes, it increases that damage in comparison to its initial impact damage, but it's not a ginormous number. Not in comparison to say something like mountain top with spike grenades and everything else. Matter of fact, when we do a side-by-side -side comparison, and I'm not really breaking down DPS numbers today, because it's a nightmare when we start talking about damage over time. Just know it took roughly 14 seconds for Mountaintop to take down Greg, 15 and a half seconds for Wither Horde to take down Greg, and Anarchy, because I just wanted to just check, because I was curious, took about 12 and a half seconds to take down Greg. Now, the number I gave you for Mountaintop was 14 seconds without a spec mod. That was it by itself. Needless to say, in terms of targeted damage, Mountaintop still has Wither here beat. On top of that being a legendary and not being an exotic opens up our exotic slots to other options again to me it's going to really come down to the exotic catalyst to see what they do here with, with the horde to give it an edge if it even gets an edge now even though mountain top is really good at single target damage doesn't necessarily mean it's the best when it comes to ad control so don't just spit on wither yet all right i would say though if you are really trying to get the most out of this exotic grenade launcher at least when it comes to single target damage i would probably start with a direct impact shot then proceed to follow up with an aoe shot and then follow up with another direct impact shot the reason why i mentioned that is you'll be tacking on that extra impact damage from your first shot to your second shot 
and you'll be kind of toward the tail end of that tick damage. That way you can reapply that damage over time. But fellas, the reload speed on this thing, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not good, which is why we highly recommend using enhanced grenade loaders when using this exotic. But do that, stagger those things together, impact to AOE to back to impact, and with the horde here will do just fine for you. So guys, that is our review for this exotic grenade launcher. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. It's a fun weapon. I'll never knock anyone at Bungie for trying to be creative. I love it when they start to think outside the box. Although I will say, I wasn't expecting another crazy grenade launcher, right? Considering we just got Marty not too long ago. And I wasn't really expecting another unique grenade launcher, but I welcome it. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Oh.